Hey everyone! Okay, so today's video is going to be my summer outlook video and oh my god, thank god that the summer time is almost here because it has been so freaking cold lately and I'm just like over it. So, um, we're going to talk about summer, we're going to talk about warmer conditions, better conditions, especially for people that have been living in like the plains and the upper midwest and the Great Lakes region, like, uh, it was like snowing the other day, so... I'm like, uh, it's April, it's the end of April, we're nearing the end of April, people, and there was a snowstorm in the middle heart of the country. How bizarre is that, right? Okay, so, I know that April has been also kind of a cooler month than typical, it's kind of felt more like March and everything, but finally, going into May, and especially June, July, and August, for the long-term forecast, it looks to be a lot warmer, a lot better, obviously more summer-like temperatures across the nation. Okay, so pretty much today I'm just going to kind of give you one of those, like, you know, three, four month outlooks and everything. And then obviously at the end of each month, I'm going to give you more of the monthly outlook. So in a couple of days, I'm going to do um, a May outlook, but I just want to kind of give you a whole, like, summer overview on what we're expecting this summer in terms of temperatures. Now, last year, as you know, um, or if you didn't know, it was the hottest year on record ever in the U.S. It was just blistering, scorching hot, and uh, we're not expected to be as hot as last year. However, we do think that some places are going to be hotter and cooler than they were last year for the summer months. So, let's break it down for you to, for um, uh, in a kind of regional um, perspectives. Okay, so let's start at the West this time. Now, last year, you were pretty much like on average. Um, the Pacific Northwest was a little cooler than average, and pretty much the the Rockies and the Southwest are pretty much like on average, slightly above average. Now, this year, we also have the drought to deal with also across much of the um, Western uh, states here are along the front range of the Rockies and going more into the desert areas as well. It's kind of like spread from the middle heart of the country and it's spreading a little bit more westward. And with that, we are expected to have a ridge of high pressure kind of build over the western uh, part of the country coming into the su summer months due to the persistence of the drought. And we actually are going to see more of the drought continue and not really kind of um, uh, be relieved in any way over the next couple months. So with that being said, obviously with dry conditions and no precipitation, it kind of gives a setup for an area of high pressure to build over the region. And doing that, it's gonna uh, bring us warmer conditions across the desert southwest. So this summer is supposed to be very, very warm, um, compared, especially compared to last summer, um, actually. And in terms of, on average, it is supposed to be much warmer than average here in the desert southwest and even in the Pacific Northwest where you saw cooler than average conditions last summer, we are expected to see, again, warmer than average conditions and everything. Now, moving over into the middle heart of the country, it's going to be pretty much an average to slightly above average summer season. We still have parts that are in devastating drought, especially in Kansas and Nebraska, um, but we are seeing signs of some relief going into the Tennessee and Ohio River Valleys. And with that, with more moisture and everything, we have cooled off just slightly um, a little bit in terms of temperatures and everything. And that kind of helps as well because when you don't have the dry air and the dryness, um, it really um, helps with the moisture content in the, um, um, in the atmosphere, obviously, and the um, um, producing clouds. That way you have more cloud buildup and it isn't scorching hot all the time. The sun's not over you every single day. And obviously you have more moisture, so it kind of keeps the temperatures a little bit cooler and everything. Um, and um, so this summer, pretty much, the drought is supposed to be hopefully improving somewhat. I know we've had tons and tons of snow across this region. Um, Record-breaking snow, actually. And so that's going to definitely help some in terms of um, the drought situation and everything. And in terms of the actual summer forecast and everything, just expect, you know, your average, maybe slightly above average um, temperatures and everything. Not really looking at a lot of heat waves across this region like we saw last year. More of the heat waves going into the west this summer. Um, but you can expect, you know, to see a couple heat waves here and there and everything. 
Um, also, again, the Red River, Red River Valley going into the Dakotas and everything because of all the heavy snowpack and the melting going on, especially this upcoming weekend. Uh, do look out for flooding. I just want to um, mention that very quickly. Do look out for flooding on the Red River and everything um, because of the water levels high already. And also, you just had another snowstorm and everything. So do uh, keep an eye out on that. But, you know, with the snow pack melting and everything, it is going to help somewhat with the drought and everything. But again, expect about average, maybe slightly above average temperatures in the middle section of the country this upcoming summer. Now, moving over to the um, east, it's going to be a little bit of a tricky scenario coming into the summer months. Um, we are going to have what's called a like a blocking ridge of high pressure come across like um, Atlantic Canada. And with that, it's going to provide some warmth to spread up along the east coast so you can expect to see a couple of heat waves here and there so we are going to expect to see warmer than average uh, temperatures for the summer months however uh, the jet stream could also dip a couple times during the summer months and bring us uh, cooler than average temperatures mainly across the northern great lakes region not really dipping down into the appalachians and the south um, maybe spreading over into the northeast a couple times but really not expecting a huge like cold arctic outbreak obviously in the summertime we don't experience that but if you live across the great lakes region you can expect to see just slightly cooler than normal temperatures what you would typically see in a summer um, season and everything not expected to see like you know heat waves obviously you can still get heat waves but not as extreme as we saw last summer so it is going to be a bit relieved and it is going to be a bit cooler across the Great Lakes region. But pretty much besides that, everyone else is going to see either average above or, you know, pretty darn hot um, conditions this upcoming summer. So that is my summer outlook video and everything. I hope you enjoyed it. I will break down obviously more months as we get into it. Um, I'll do my month for uh, May outlook uh, in a couple days, like I mentioned at the beginning of the video, and then obviously June, July, and August when obviously the other months end and everything. So that is my temperature outlook and everything for the summer months. You can also check out my uh, 2013 hurricane season outlook video. I just posted that about uh, 10 days or so. And then also I still have my um, gay marriage equality for all part one video. You can also check that out on my YouTube channel as well. And then remember until next time, remember to keep your eye to the sky.